Hello everyone, Gene here with G Squared Tactics. Kind of unconventional video for me today. Don't really know how this will go. Going to try to insert as many pictures as possible so that you can get a visual. But if you will remember on, and of course, you know, stir the pot a little bit. Get the people going as the overdone short on YouTube says. Because you know some people going to get angry and tell me something about me that I don't know. But the reality is I do want to know from you guys how I can avoid what I'm getting ready to talk about. And or if, I, if it can't be avoided, what has been your best method for cleaning it up. If you remember the original video that I done on the Springfield Prodigy, the reason I decided to use this one as an example is because it seems to be the most extreme as in I have a Glock 32C 357 SIG as you know a very hot round that's ported almost in the center of the barrel and slide and I, ins I inspected it with a bore camera saw no build up of any kind not in the ports the only thing I really saw was a little bit on the slide itself and I was able to clean that out with a little number nine and some pipe cleaner. Not a big deal. Nothing that was gummed up or hot. But after about putting 350 or so rounds, then going back to the range again. So in total, I guess about 500 rounds when I'd done the initial review. I told you how that I thought the compensated guns with the single port in the barrel and the slide. I, I felt like I wasn't sure how much damage that might would do maybe not damage but how much wear it would put on the barrel itself and or even on the the gun or the front sight etc and i put up a picture of just how much build up was in the the outer ring if you will the section where the port is right beyond the edge or the end of the of uh, the barrel where it would have originally ended i suppose you can say and at first i thought there's no way that must have been there that must have be, be some type of something they put in there to make it more rigid or something like there is no way that much gunk or whatever the heck that is fouling or whatever it is built up in that barrel after 500 rounds now with that being said i didn't use a federal because or blazer brass because it specifically warns on the side of the box not to use it imported or comped guns so i did not use it i did use s and b I did use some Winchester 124 grain white box, and I also used um, a brand I use often because, again, I buy my own ammunition, and you guys aren't buying me any for the reviews. It was New Republic, so I used those three brands. And they say, "Well, don't you can't use plated ammo?" Well, from what I understood, it would hurt the accuracy because it would shear off things of that nature. The crazy thing is, out of those three rounds that I used. The, the effectiveness of the gun was still there. Like it, it still was almost non-existent on the recoil, still extremely accurate. When I went back for the second range trip, it seemed to be just as accurate, if not more accurate. Maybe I just got better with the gun. I don't know, but it didn't seem to affect the accuracy at all. And so I just left it really. I just cleaned it up, made sure the inside of the barrel and the rifling looked good. I looked at it with the bore camera. It all looked good. I was like, well, whatever, you know. But then I got to thinking about it and I was like, I got to find out what that is. And so when I tell you that I put, I, I basically what I did is I capped off the end here 
and I capped, I basically wrapped this with the electrical tape and then I capped off the end of the barrel here and I turned it up like this and I filled it full of wipeout uh, bore, bore cleaner and I just let it sit there for 60 minutes. Now I know some people say, oh, let it sit there overnight, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure that'll be fine but I try to follow the man manufacturer's instructions and it says not to leave it in there for more than 60 minutes. So I left it in there for 60 minutes and I got my wire or copper brush, just basically a bore brush. I think it was for a 20 gauge shotgun, had a nice width on it. And I just basically took the handle and I twisted it around like this and it basically done nothing. Now, what I did notice is that I took this little small flathead miniature micro screwdriver, if you will, and I was able to do this number here on the side. And what it had done was it had softened that build up up enough to where I was able to scrape it a little bit, but it still was not even coming close to getting it out of there, okay? There were chunks of it coming out and the mess that it made, you know, since I don't have kids at home anymore, we don't use our other bathroom. So I was in that bathroom over the sink there doing this and the mess that it made in the sink, just chunks of stuff. It was ungodly how much stuff was coming out of there. I, over 500 rounds is how much stuff was coming out of there. And I was just, and so I'd basically done that and dug it as much as I could with this little screwdriver. And then I put a little, uh, a little tiny little bit of the bore cleaner in there again. And ultimately what I ended up having to do after brushing and brushing and brushing by hand and not affecting it at all, ultimately what I ended up doing was taking my Makita drill. I put the, the bore uh, brush inside of the end of the drill, just like I would any drill bit or anything like that. And then I positioned it in here and I put the drill on the lowest speed, started to turn it. I let it turn for about 30 seconds, pulled it out to see if it had affected it any at all. And it did, it did take some of it out. And so I'm like, okay, well that, that might actually work. And so, but it wasn't of affecting it enough. So I put it back in there again, put the drill on a high speed, turned it on, let it run for about a minute and a half. And that really seemed to take a good bit of it out. But still, especially up against the end of the barrel here, so not so the portion where the barrel, I guess, would originally stop before the, the con it was really built up badly in there too. And I wasn't, I guess the way the brush was going in, I wasn't really affecting that area. So I was really having to scrape it off. And again, it was soft at this point. It had softened up from the, the wipeout. And so it was, you know, coming off in little bitty chunks, but it was still there. It was still on there. So I basically, it, it ended up being full blast on the drill with the bore brush. Like I said, I believe it was for a 20 gauge shotgun. I positioned it in there where it did not go up into the barrel or the rifling. It just stopped right here and I turned it on full, full blast. If you take every single time that I ran it, because I timed each time, it was in total 16 minutes and 33 seconds is how much time it took with me running that brush in there full speed on the drill to finally get every bit of that stuff out of there and make me a smooth surface of the barrel or beyond the tip in the ported area of the, of the barrel. And then I took a soft, so so a soft bore brush, um, if you will, for again, I think it was a 20 gauge shotgun. Maybe it was smaller than that. I'm not really sure. But I put a little bit of the Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish, I believe that's what it's called. And I, you know, put a little bit in there with the Q-tip and I ran that brush in there with the drill and it polished it up really, really nice. Now, up, up against the, the edge of the barrel, again, down in here where the barrel would originally stop before it starts being ported, 
there's a tiny little lip right there uh, where it, where it, it's hard to explain. I'm not even going to try to explain it, but it's like it's almost in two pieces. There's like a tiny little lip, almost like this piece is an outer covering or something. Again, I know I'm not saying that right and probably screwing this up real bad, but either way, right on the, so basically imagine that this area here, down in here where the barrel stopped, it, it, it was very difficult to get off of there. I got about 85% of it off and I decided to just stop and be done with it at that point because I was worried that I would pit or mess up my barrel if I kept on doing it. And I did run my bore camera down through here and I did not see <clears throat> any pitting or anything like that. So it doesn't seem to have messed anything up and it did clean it up really, really nice and got it shining really good and got all of that out of there, even along the outer edges of the port itself as it was really bad as well. And, but it came off a little bit easier but again, if I would not have had this scraping it and big chunks of that fouling just falling out, it was insane. It was absolutely insane. I just shot the Hellcat Pro comp and I don't notice any or didn't notice. I just used the same ammunition and I don't notice or didn't notice any of that buildup in that one like I did this one. I don't know if there's any difference. I just don't know. Maybe I'll start something. I'm not really sure. But either way, that's how I got it out. That's how I got it clean. Again, there is a few spots that it's still on there, but I got it out enough to where I'm happy with it. But here's the thing about it. I'm not going to want to go out to the range and shoot this thing. So let's assume there's some ammunition you can shoot through this that will not allow that to happen. Well, I'm sure that ammunition is not going to be cheap. And so, you know, who wants to go out to the range every single time, especially if you're doing reviews like me, who wants to go out to the range and run a dollar fifty around ammo through this thing just so that doesn't build up? I, nobody. So if there's an ammunition that I can run through this that's not a dollar fifty around, that's not going to cause that build up, please let me know. I'm genuinely asking. I would like to know what ammunition I can run. And I can share that in another video to help everybody. That's what this is all about. That's what I do this channel for, to help everyone, in some cases including myself. But I don't want to come home every time I go to the range. It's going to take away some of the joy that I had in shooting this gun if I have to come home and go through that three-hour process of cleaning that small area of the barrel. And I would imagine that scraping on it and all of the stuff I had to do to get it off is not going to be good for, again, the wear and tear on the barrel. So that that's my experience. That's what happened to me. Again, I ran Winchester White Box 124 grain. I ran New Republic, and I ran SMB uh, ammunition through this gun. That's the only three rounds I ran through it, and that's what happened. If there is a bulk ball ammunition, range ammo, if you will, that that would not happen, I'm all ears as I would prefer to buy that and shoot through this rather than having to do that every single time because I don't want to spend a dollar fifty around for ammunition to put through this gun. So that that was my experience. I hope that it helped someone and I hope that someone can help me. I did get it cleaned up. It looks fine. Looks like there's been no damage to the barrel whatsoever through my arduous process, if you will, to get it all out of there. It did shine it up really, really nice, but if there's an easier way or something that I can do to avoid it, let me know what your experience was. Appreciate you guys so much for watching. Go over, check me out on Patreon. Consider supporting over there. I'm also over on Rumble. Make sure you check out gsquaredtactical.com and pick up some hats, coasters, shirts, anything you want, and we'll get it shipped right out to you. Thanks again so much for watching. Hit the thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and to God be the glory.